Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. This is um, the fourth video in my Bible journaling with me, keeping it simple mini series. And although this is video four, this is page three. Page one, um, the first video was the introduction to this. I did page one already, page two. Today is page three. So, and if you want to know more about this series and my intention behind it, you can look at the introduction video. The playlist will be in the description section of this video. So, um, so in this video, um, what I'm going to be using are um, perhaps two crayons, but definitely one. I got these from a Dollar Tree, these neon crayons, right, from Crayola. I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree stencil, right? This stencil um, has a sticky back. So I actually stuck it on this piece of black cardstock, and you'll see why in a few minutes. And I'm going to be using some alphas, these. I'm going to be using these alphas. Actually, I think I'm going to use one pink one. I don't want to use that yellow one. I'm going to use this pink one. And so, yeah, and I'm using these alphas. These came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using these stickers. Jesus Loves Me um, foil. they like foil stickers. Yeah. They look kind of sparkly, like holographic a little bit as well, I think. That's what that's called. And um, I got these also from the Dollar Tree. So, and basically, that's it. Oh, yeah, I do need a highlighter. Uh, hold on. Get the highlighter here. I want to use this blue highlighter. Tonight is going to be very simple. I do not plan to make a journaling card um, tonight. For this, um, I probably will in the future, but not tonight. Um, but I want to read the scripture that I'm going to be sharing. I just want to make sure that's everything that I want to use. Oh, yeah, and I might use this blue pen. Yeah, I'm going to use this blue pen. I am going to use it. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm in 1st John chapter 1, and I'm going to start from verse 5, and I'm going to read to verse 10. It reads, this then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Verse 9. If we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all righteousness. And the reason why I love this scripture so much because... Um, it gives me peace and comfort to know that God wants me to tell him my sin. He wants me to confess it, right? That's the first thing. So it's a safe place to bring those, that burden, that weight, that sin that will easily beset me. It's, it's, a, it's, it's so helpful to be able to get that stuff out, you know, um, you know, people go and they confess their sins and they, I think it's Catholicism. They go to in the box and to the priest or whatever to confess their sins. Um, so I've seen, you know, people do it, you know, when I've seen the movies and stuff like that. You, you know, I've seen that. 
for me, it's such a blessing to know that I can go to God and confess my sins. He didn't say hide it. He didn't say lie about it. He said confess it. Tell tell the truth. You know, um, hold on, this thing looks like it wanna Okay. Yeah. Tell the truth and make <laughs> somebody say, I heard somebody say, tell the truth and shame the devil, you know. Like, cause he he likes he likes it when we lie. He he likes when stuff, you know, is is buried and not and not brought to the light. You know, because he's a liar and he wants us to lie. But he's a liar and the father of all lies. But we can confess our sins to God, right? But watch this. It says he is faithful. If we confess our sins, God is faithful. Listen, this is this is the faithfulness of God when we confess our sins. He is faithful and just. Not only faithful, that means he is going to do it. He, he will not, he doesn't lie. He's reliable, 100% reliable. We can depend on him. And he's just. That means that God has made a covenant with himself. He is faithful and just. That means that if he don't do what we're about to read, that's unjust. God is saying, I, I hold myself accountable to do this for you when you confess your sins. That is so powerful. That lets me know this promise is 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 fulfilled bottom line right so that's where the peace comes in you know you could tell somebody your struggle but that don't mean they faithful and just to do anything about it but watch what god does he is faithful and just to forgive us oh my god god is holding himself accountable to forgive us he's holding himself accountable He's he's faithful to do it. He's going to do it. Make no mistake of that. When you once you confess your sins to God, if you truly confess your sins to God, oh, you are in a good place. He is faithful and just to forgive us. Now get this, not only to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He will not leave us the same. No, he does not leave us the same. That is right there. That's that's a Holy Ghost shout, Holy Ghost party. I ain't I ain't shouting right now on camera, but in my spirit, I'm Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus, because it will be such a miserable state to be in when you see your own stuff and it's just like I'm 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 stuck with this thing. No, we're not. He will walk us through that thing, talk us through that thing. We confess it. He says, "I am faithful and just." To forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And then verse 10 says, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. That God said, nobody could say like, I don't got no sin. I don't have no problems. Oh, the, the Bible says if a person says that, like they all that and they don't have no issues or no problem. The scripture says that we are making God a liar if we say we have not sinned. Everybody sin everybody has sinned against God and everybody falls short. If you're a human being, you're gonna miss it. I don't care how much you love Jesus. I don't care how long you've been walking with Jesus. We're never gonna do everything 100% right because we are human and God made provision for us. He says he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When we confess our sins. All right. And, they, and and the scripture goes on to say that. If if we say that we don't have no sin. We make God a liar. And his word is not in us. No. So God's word is in us. Right. We confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I pray that you are. Encouraged by that. Because you know. We can tell somebody our stuff. And they like. Ew, what's wrong with you. Oh, you know, but God does not do that to us. He does not do that to us. He holds himself accountable to cleanse up, to forgive us and fix us up. So now let's start this. Thank you, Lord. I put this on the back of, um, I'm going to hold this up right here. I put this. I put cardstock on the back of this because I needed something for it to press on when I um 
do this rubbing technique. I'm going to also use this. If you don't have something like this, you can use a piece of cardboard, which will probably even be better because it'll be harder, right? So, um, let me see if I have um, a piece of cardboard that I can get readily, like really quick without digging through anything. Um, I have this thing here, which is a little bit more. Yeah, I would want to cut something down to size. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this for now and just use the strength of my hand to press down. But I do believe a card. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of tired tonight, so I don't want to feel like fishing around for um, a piece of cardboard that size. But what I want to do first is I'm going to make a border. So I'm going to make a quick border, right? Because this is keeping it simple like this. They squiggly lines, right? I like these kind of borders. They're just so simple, right? So just a squiggly line. Why does it look like this pen want to run out of ink? Because I use it so much. Oh, God. And I don't have... Okay, good. I shook it and so came down. I don't have another one of these pens. And it is, um, it's not a quick dry pen. It's not a quick dry. So I need to be careful because it will smudge. Right? And, um, so, so this is a quick way to do a border. You know, and it frames the page already. Let me make sure I am in frame because, oh, let's see. Yep, I'm in frame, but I can move up a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm going to highlight the verse, which is nine. That is really my focal verse. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I love that scripture. And you know what, too? Um, this is God's love, right? This is because he loves us. And I learned when we know that God loves us, we take those things to him and we don't feel condemned, you know? Because bad enough, you know, we you know, sometimes we may be struggling with something. The last thing we need to do is walk around feeling so horrible for it. No, you know, we just confess it and we just, and it doesn't mean that stuff is going to happen overnight because, you know, God has his reasons sometimes, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that we are not really like, um, crying out to God. You just never know why the process takes as much time or, you know, goes the way that um, it goes. You know, uh, we don't always understand that right off the top. God, you know, sometimes in hindsight, he shows us why. But so let me show you. I tried this before I got on. I don't know if you could really see that. Let me put it. Let me see if I put something. If you could really see that, it's really faint, right? But I might snap a picture and put the picture. But I tried it to see what would happen because this um, stencil is very thin. You know, it's made out of a little plasticky thing. It has a sticky back. It's different from stencils that look something like this. Um, you know, that has a little bit... It's a little thicker, right? And so, I wanted to make sure that it was going to work. Now, this Bible page is much thinner than that copy paper. So, I shouldn't have a problem. So, I'm going to put it like this first, right? And I'm looking right here. Okay, it's down here. So, the first thing, I'm, I'm going to peel this. Crayon. I want to take this off. Right? Take this off. Take the paper off. And like I said, I got this. 
from a Dollar Tree. These Crayolas. Right? And um, I'm wondering. I think I'm going to break it. It's just going to be easy, I think, for me. And so, I'm not trying to get a perfect rub, but just... Oh, see, I just hope that it comes out right. Yeah, it's coming. Right. Right, I can see, yeah. Okay. Especially right here, I see it. Oops. That's what I forgot. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, it needs... Because, see, that one, it was the... I was on the... um. Yeah, that's better. I was on the... um. The desk. So, you know, I had it a lot of um support underneath. So, right here, I'm rubbing too. Yeah, it's coming up. I don't know if you could see it, but, I mean, I see it really good. And it's, it's supposed to be light. It's supposed to be, you know, soft, I should say. Right. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, my God, I'm... I'm really liking that, y'all. And so I smeared some of that blue. See, that's what I was concerned about, but it's nothing I could do about that now. So just keep on going, you know. And um, I probably should have put it afterwards, but the reason why I didn't, because I really honestly was concerned that the pen would not write over, that the pen would not write over the crayon. Because remember, the crayon is wax, right? So I was thinking about that even before I got on. Like, if I'm I'm, I'm not going to write on this page because this is wax. I don't want to ruin any of my pens. And at the same token, um, in the last video, I felt like even though it was keeping it simple with the supplies, I had kind of a rough time towards the end of that video. But I kept it in because... Even when you're doing something simple, sometimes you might run into challenges. So, and I just wanted to show that. So, I really like this so far. Let me see if I can come up here. I don't want to mess it up. So, I really, really like that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's light, but it's so, oh my God. I don't know if you can really see it. Let me see if I kind of like, all right, okay. You see, I had to, like, make it not so bright right there so you could, like, see it. So, so you see, that's very simple, right? Very simple. I kind of like that blue hair. I wish it could have smeared some more somewhere else. But I'm going to leave well enough alone. So, I have these stickers here, right? And this says, Jesus loves me. I do want to put, okay, I'm hoping I'm going to have enough letters to do this. Um, but from what I'm seeing, I may have an issue here. Okay, but if I do see, I may, you know what, I may go back and forth with these letters. With the blue and the pink. Um, right. So, I'm going to put right here, Jesus loves me. I'm just going to, I didn't check for sizing or whatever. I will just, yeah, I'm going to put this here, right here. I'm not going to worry about it being straight. Jesus loves me, okay? So, that makes me think of that when I think about, like, confessing my sin and God being faithful and just to forgive me. And the fact that. Oh, okay. I'm going to be okay. I could just use the blue. I could just use the blue. Thank you, Lord. Because this right down here, I don't know if that's a 5. No, that's an S. And I wanted another S. That's what I thought I had to go in here. But like I was saying, um, his love, that he is faithful and just to forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness, that's part of his love. And if I didn't believe God loved me, I, I would have a hard time, like... You know, confessing my sin. I would, like, feel, like, too ashamed, you know. And it was a time where I did, years ago, you know, I used to battle so much shame. 
God helped me. And, you know, it was really hard because, you know, I think it was my upbringing too, you know, because um, I got punished a lot. And um, so that's how I was seeing God. That someone that wanted to just, you know, punish me for every little thing. So it was, God had to heal me from that. And, um, and teach me like that, that's, he's not like that, you know? Not that there's not consequences for our sins, but he's merciful and gracious and he wants to, he works with us to get us better. It's not, you know, if you keep doing the nonsense, of course, you know, there's going to be consequences because it's not that God's coming down on you, it's a direct, it's just direct consequences. You know, you jump in white paint, you're going to come out with white paint on you, it's not God is, you know, punishing you. It's just what's attached to the offense. But, you know, sometimes, you know, we don't get that because, you know, God is merciful. And even if we do get it, God is still merciful. Sometimes, you know, unfortunately, some of us are hard-headed, you know. And they said, you know, the saying, hard head makes us soft behind, you know. But I, what I believe is that, you know, after a while, I mean, I speak for myself because everybody's different. But I just got to the point where I'm like, I don't like unnecessary pain. So I don't want to be putting myself through a whole bunch of nonsense. I, You know, I just don't want to do that. Hold on, let me see something. I just don't like. I don't like drama. So I'd rather just pray and ask God to help me do what's right because I don't feel like going through a whole bunch of nonsense and experiencing pain because of some choices that I'm making over and over again. I just, you know, after a while, just got to a point where, I, you know, it's not worth it. C O N F E S S. Right, confess. Okay, and um, I don't like. I don't have a, a, another end, so I don't think I'm gonna. Cause I just was gonna put confess, right? I was not gonna go into putting like a whole nother like word, and so because I'm seeing this space down here, it's making me want to do that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. So I had Jesus loved me. And maybe what I will do is put some kind of okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So um this says Jesus loves me. I'm gonna put oops another one here. So that means I could have spaced it out, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put this one here. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. And then I'm going to take this black pen, hopefully, even though, okay, it's wax, it'll work, hopefully. Then I'm going to make this arrow to the scripture, right? And down here... I don't know if I'm going to be able to write that down there, um, right on here. Let me see. Let me, I don't want to mess up. Let me try my precision pen right here and just date it. Um, let me see. S. Oh, I don't think so because. Oh, okay. S. So I'm actually putting the date to. <coughs> and I'm gonna put thanks, Lord. Thanks, 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 Jesus. Oh, 
like that. And that's it. I like that. Easy does it. Put these stickers to the side. So this is video, the video four. Page three, I got two more pages. Already have the two ideas that I want to share. I probably should do another one tonight, but we sh ah, I'll do it tomorrow morning, God willing. And so, and what I did was I put all the material to the side. I want to, um, okay, first let me just say this. So, yeah, I like this page. Um, let me see if it's, uh, yeah, I really like it. And, um, at a later date, I'm going to go on and put a tab. Um, I'll probably do a video one day about that, like how you can go back and tab old pages if you haven't before. These orange tabs was because I did some type of flip through before and I never took them out. Um, but I don't usually put, um, sometimes I put a tab, but it's not something like I always immediately think about with when I'm doing my Bible journaling pages. Um, so, but, um, um, I saw, um, Al John do this, um, Al John, she, um, I watch her channel. She does, um, what, um, journaling on a budget and, um, build your stash and craft. Um, and again, her name, her name is Amy, but her channel is Al John. Um, I'll, I'll just leave the link to her channel in the description section. I really like watching her videos because it's so peaceful and she's doing awesome craft and she's so creative and, you know, it's, it's easy to follow along, um, for me anyway, but she does this thing at the end of her videos where she says, um, what you're going to need for the next, um, um, activity, the next, um, what is it? Um, art activity. That's build your stash and craft, the next crafting activity. So I want to try something like that. Um, but then that means that, you know, we gotta, I gotta, I gotta stick with it. So, okay. So for the next video, what, um, I want to try a technique that I learned from someone else. Well, this idea of sharing what I'm going to use for next video is Al John. But the technique itself is from another woman. I'm going to try to find it and, and mention it when I actually do the video. But um, you'll need rubber bands. Rubber bands. And, um, okay. Oh, we're only going to be able to No, You know what? Oh, no. I'm going to have to save this technique for a regular video. That's not going to work because, no, nope, because keeping it simple is not bringing out the inks and stuff like that. And I only have two. No, nah, no, no, no. Okay. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I'm sorry about that. So, you know what? Maybe next time I'll introduce what I'm going to use because it's, it's a, I guess it's another level of preparation you need to have. And I have items here of what, um, you know, to use. But um, I didn't think this through good enough with the rubber bands. Yeah, and I got these from the Dollar Tree, but I cannot use that. That's not going to work. So I'm sorry about that. Um, maybe in the future when I want to do something like this, I'll try to prepare more in advance and know exactly and remember what I can, what I cannot use. So with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.